Okay, so the purpose of this uh, drawing is going to be to show how to uh, use siding and proportions and taking measurements to draw this still life onto this piece of paper. So it's going to be enlarged. It's the same scale in terms of the horizontals and verticals in comparison. So what's on this paper should be increased to fit on this paper. Okay, so the outside shapes and spaces should be the same, except enlarged. Okay, so um, to do this, you know, siding is essentially trying to find vertical alignments as you look across the image, then also trying to find uh, horizontal alignments across through the image and relationships, and also any kind of diagonals that can be found in relationships from one another. But also the other thing is trying to find shape or size uh, relationships in comparison of uh, one shape and size and compared to another, okay, to help you find proportional sizes. Uh, among the objects and the relationships. So if we can do that, we should be able to have a pretty accurate drawing without using a grid, okay? All right, so what I like to do is first, basically, I can find out where basically the midpoint of my paper is. I can check myself by doing this with my pencil. Let me go a little bit lower. Okay, now I can just take that measurement, come over here. Let's put that right there. Um, I need to find a midpoint here. I'll say something like that, maybe. Which that was good. Tape up here, so I'm gonna put that right there. Okay. Now I can't. I don't want to do it on here. I want to get to where I am imagining if I was looking at this still life through like a viewfinder or something. Obviously, I could put marks on this paper as right now, but I don't want to rely on that too much. I want to show how this can also be used to fill so as an actual still life sitting up in front of me. And I have like a viewfinder on display and looking through a viewfinder, okay? So that way I couldn't really put marks on the still life as it was sitting in front of me, just as I'm doing here on my paper, okay? But what I would have to do is kind of visually imagine where these midpoints are in here, okay? All right, so... Um, what I'm going to do now is start kind of plotting out where I think things are in terms of where they're close to the edge of the paper because it's easier to judge these smaller distances than it is pretty much these long, far distances from where things are in relation to the edge of the paper. Okay, I can try, but okay, so as an overall drawing method, I have to draw very kind of loosely. That allows me the flexibility to change things as I go. So I can put down some general, what I think might be there, just to kind of shoot some things out here. And then I can go in and kind of start to kind of check myself in terms of how the location 
or where things are and before I kind of really develop them. I'm just kind of shooting some things out here. are a pretty complex object. So, you know, shadows are real good indicator of things where they're at. You can have shadows or things like that. Now as I'm doing this, I'm really trying to scan the image as I do it. I know there's going to be some issues because I'm already seeing some things that really just aren't working out. Kind of work them just with the main big shapes and working down into the smaller shapes real quick. Then I can go back. I'm about ready to start checking myself here. I know it's really hard to kind of start a drawing this way just because it feels so fluid and I'm just trying to, it's almost like the skeleton of it, it's like the DNA of what it is I'm looking at, some apparition, right? So now I kind of feel like I got everything kind of laid in, but now I got to check my size, shape, proportions, and alignments compared to what I have here. So, um, what I can do, um, probably I need to find out where the end of this mouse should be. So if I look at kind of where the midpoint is of this, so I'm going to try to find the midpoint area. Okay, so I'm showing like right here is kind of the middle. I said right here is the middle. So my mouse is a little too short. Okay. So if we look at where 
the scissors from the edge of the book coming down. So let's see what the size of the ball is in relation to something else. Okay, so I'm showing the ball is about the same size as from there to there. So if the book is about right here, the alignment underneath that book, now the scissors go, the handle is on the other side of that edge of the book. On my drawing, it's not like that. So I need to bring my handle over more. That's really going to help my drawing right there. Check my alignment here, my angle. That's good. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's see the length of that scissor in relation to something else. So the scissors should be the same length of the book from this corner to that corner. Kind of a little too long on this. Maybe this needs to come back some. Now, I, mean, I could do it this way. Okay, that feels good. Of course, that's by my eye, not necessarily by the camera. I'm not sure what the camera is capturing. I'm watching my drawing. Um, so let's see what the scissor handle angle is here. That's working pretty good. So that you can really see how I first initially thought, maybe it's over here, but not here, and then not here. Thought the edge of my mouse was there, nope, here. Let's see here. Just curious. So yeah, that's supposed to be basically halfway. Too far ahead of myself in detail here. I'm just trying to make sure that all this kind of works out through here. Let's 
second needs to be a little bit longer or maybe I'm a little off on the angle. Maybe this needs to come in a little bit more like that. Okay, so I'm just interested here in terms of from here to here what that length is compared to something else. So So I'm showing from here to here it's about the same length from here to here. Woo! Hey, it worked out. So yeah. Nice. Okay, so it looks like I'm pretty good to go with that. Um as long as that's right and that, you know. Those things do, comparisons do work out. So let's see comparison from here to here. Okay, so the length from here to here same as the length. Mm -mm. That should be the same distance was from there to there. I guess that's working out. And see, I could lay the pencil down here and do it like that. Again, but I'm trying to get, pretend like this is an image that's actually 3D, kind of set up in front of me. You know? And if I was holding up my pencil like that, I couldn't really place my pencil on the object. So I'm trying to practice as what you would do in a situation where you're drawing for something that's 3D. So, all right, so that seems to be working out. All right, so I remember some diagonals from previously where I really was, well, I'm putting it on there, I was able to line up this to this to this. And it looks like, hmm. I should be able to take this angle too and bring it over here. So I think this actually needs to come up here a little bit more. Yeah, that's working out. So this is what I was looking at. Okay, it's working out. It's making me feel very confident now with these scissors because the scissors are really tricky. All right, now I need to find out where the alignment of bottom of this ball is in relation to everything else. I'm seeing an issue. Okay, so I'm seeing the bottom of that ball coming over and lining up across up under here. 
something about like this. I think I need to bring that down. Maybe. Let's see how what the length is right there compared to the ball itself. Okay, I'm thinking that might be better. There's where that lies. I think the mouse has come up a bit more. Let's see. I think that's right. I think the mouse just needs to come up more. So that would mean that mouse needs to come up somewhere up here. Aha. So you can see how it lines up with that little rivet thing. Which I have. Maybe that just needs to come up some more. Okay, so from here to here, it's basically from here to here, this should be the center of the ball, and that's working out. That's working pretty good. Now I feel like this is just a little too low though. That puts my scissors over a little bit too much. Maybe, maybe that instead. Now, the object is I am trying to get real accuracy here. Okay, I see a line here I need to check. Yeah, the corner of the book is scissors. It's basically about midway to that point of the scissors. Nice. Works out. And the corner of the book. Corner of the book, especially midway. About right there. Okay, so what about the height from the book to the top of the page? Or anything else in comparison? I can compare it to. Okay, so that, I think that's about good. 
So I'm pretty good about this ball. I feel pretty certain about it. So if this lines up at that high above that, I'm feeling pretty good about it because that's what I'm seeing over here too. Okay, so I feel like that corner is in the right place. My angle's right. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about this now. Everything seems to be working out. All my angles, everything, all the measurements. I don't want to get too confident that I'm going to find something that's going to blow it up. Um, all right, let me see this alignment right here. Edge of it to my mouse. This might need to come in a little bit more. All right, so feeling pretty good about all that. I really hadn't dealt with the handles or the bottle yet. Um, now that I got some of the other stuff, main stuff in place, I feel like I can really probably still I don't know. So I feel like this should be longer. Before I'm hitting this bottle that right there. So maybe that's about right right there. This it seems like it should be closer, but there's a shadow right there. So I guess that's right. So that should be up a little higher. Which brings that over. If my video is still recording, yep, still recording. Um, all right, now I remember from previously this liquid should line up about the top of that ball. Uh, ball. Let's see if that's going to work. So if I'm seeing right here, this should come down about right here. That line up on top of that ball. And for the most part. Okay, feel free about that. Now I have the main container shapes, which is what I feel like I have now. Everything else is going to fall into place much quicker and much faster, and I can feel more confident about making my contours now. All right, so the scissors come about this close.
So I don't want to spend too much time doing this part. I mean, a lot of that, you know, particular little thing there. So I can spend a lot of time cleaning this up, you know, getting this all neat now and really honing in on the edges. You can see just how focused I am on the shapes now, the small shapes. But I can do that now that I confidently have where my large shapes are, how what size they are, their placement. There's a shadow shape that comes through here and it's working out. Um, I got practice area up with the cast shadow from this. See if that works out. Got to have room here, and I'm running out of room. That means something's too big or in the wrong place. I spent too much time on those contours just now. You get a little too confident to sit here. Looks like I through there. So as I get this little shape in there, I should be okay. And I can't over too far with that. As long as I got this shape right here, this shape right here, if that's working out, everything should be working out. Now I got this kind of shape right here. This needs to come back again. Now this shape looks pretty good. And there's a shadow, there's a big thick line right there, this shadow. Which makes it hard to see like the edge of the book because there's a shadow and a cast shadow. I'm struggling with this because I feel like it should be further over. Like 
maybe about right here. Somehow it's not quite working out as it should. I'll put my mouse about right here, which is maybe where it should be. These shapes feel good. So this shape right here, this shape. So I'm going to go ahead and clean some of this up a little bit. All this is kind of working out now. Still looking at these kind of relationships. A hard shape to draw because it's got like, this thick line in there too. Shadow kind of edge to it. Okay. All right. So this is getting to be kind of really dark, kind of outline, kind of drawing, and it's not what it's supposed to be, but it's just kind of restating is all I'm doing. So now. What I can do, now I got everything kind of basically in there, is go back and really start kind of cleaning this up, lighten my lines up, and then kind of go back and more uh, concise, kind of contours. Now, the thing is, this is just the beginning of the drawing. This is sort of the layout. Um, now I can really focus on sort of the shading and 
the drawing particular is because now I've got everything, all my proportions worked out, my placement worked out, and then my drawing is accurate, and everything is pretty much in the right place. I'm just breaking it down into the smaller parts now, which aren't as crucial. Now, this is what you mean by drawing from whole to part. You focus on the small things first, then you can draw the smaller parts after you have the larger parts established. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop the video here. I feel like I pretty much have everything. I don't really worry about getting inside of here so much right now. I can come back and do all these things, or I don't think they're as detrimental to the draw. Okay? All right, and that's that.